Hello you crazy awesome dancers, welcome back to another tutorial. This one is going to be for beginners. We're going to make eight simple combinations for bachata. To keep the intro short, I'm going to breathe in. We are Marius and Elena and we are making dance tutorials. If you like our work, please subscribe and enable all notifications by clicking the bell button. Also, here is the list with our patrons that support us monthly. <laughs> Don't forget that we add subtitles in English and Spanish. Use the one that you need. Let's go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. The first combination, as you saw, is gonna consist of a pretzel, a walk, exit, and a turn. So let's go. First, we do that basic. One, two, three. I raise my left hand because I wanna go into a pretzel or cuddle position. Five, six, seven, eight. We just walk back and forth, forth and back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. I raise the left hand and I turn my follower. One, two, three, four. Raise my right as a preparation for my turn. Five, six, seven, eight. This is an easy combination. Just remember, always each move has its own preparation. I go into basic two. I prepare the turn. Five, six, seven. We go forward. One, two, three, four. Five, six. I raise the hand. One, two. I raise the hand. Five, six. Seven, eight. Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The second combination consists of a back hammerlock for me, a back turn with a hammerlock, two caricias, and we just change the places. Let's go. Basic. One, two, three, four, five, six. I prepare. I make my back turn into a hammerlock using my heel to turn. One, two, and I go towards Elena's head to make that caricia. Three. Four. I caress the hand, five, six, seven, eight, and I request the other hand. Five, six, seven, eight. I can go on seven, eight, or I can go on one, two. You have a lot of flexibility here. And I go one, two, three. I let go of the hand behind her neck. I keep the hand on the shoulder blade in order to do that 180. Five, six, seven, eight, or that change of places. From this position, one more time, let's go directly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Basic one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Combo number three. Hammerlock to the follower. We change positions. We have some hand tricks and a turn. Let's go. One, two, three, four. I prepare the hammerlock. One, two. And one thing I like to do here is change the grip. I am here on her index finger and I go down and now I end up to the pinky. Then we change positions. I pull with my right. Five, six, seven, eight. I prepare. Hands a little bit to the side. In, up, elbows, tap. Then go down down inward and up five six caress the body to the back no no yes yes and from the hip a turn one two three 
four. One more time from this position. Let's do it directly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four, hammer lock. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Combo number four. This one we're going to use a hammer lock, a hip roll hand circles and a simple exit. We're going to do the basic one, two, get ready for the hammer lock. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I release the hand, doesn't really matter here the grip, we focus on the hip. I pull and make that circle. Five, six, and change the weight. For a better view, for the followers, five, six, seven, eight. And for the leaders, watch my Weight shifting, five, six, seven, eight. Now, to continue, from here I just do two circles. You can practice just like this, keeping a little bit the contact and going in. And of course, if you want, you can go also outside. So, from here we go one, two, three, up, and we just exit, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it one more time from this position, going directly, five, six, Hammer lock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, we go straight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Numero cinco. We are going to do a change of places, a back turn for the leader, hand behind our neck, and a head roll for us. Like this. One, two, we get some distance a little bit for that change of places, and we go five, six, seven, eight. I prepare and I like to go back but also using this hand a little bit for styling like I am cutting with the blade. So I go one, two, three, four. I have the hand here on my shoulder. Ladies, followers, don't forget to keep the contact and five, six, seven, eight. Leaders here at the end it's important that you also shift your weight. So you go five, six, seven, eight. Ladies, while the guy is doing the head roll, you can also do a hip roll. This is your own styling. Let's do it on our time from this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Combo number six. We're going to use the pretzel, a head roll, and a simple exit with two turns. Let's go. One, two, prepare, go pretzel, five, six, seven, eight. Change the grip, go down, up, and over the girl's head. This is one, two, three, four. Now go into the head roll, release the hand behind the neck. Five, six, seven, eight. Do the tap on eight, push forward, exit. One, two, request the hand, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, but from this position, so you can see better what happens behind the girl's back. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I release five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. If you know waves, you can complicate this a little bit just by doing a wave during that motion with the hand. Like this, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, push. One, two, three, four, pull and turn, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Common number seven, we are going to use the basics in sensual bachata. From this position, we are going to do a circle to get closer, go here on the shoulder blade, and of course, we are going to do also a circle with this hand to pre not quite a circle, a semicircle to go from here here in order to throw it back. So we start one, two, I prepared that circle, five, six, seven, eight, I'm on the shoulder blade and here I prepare the hand. Now I go into the basic in and out. One, two, three, four. I like to have both my hands on the shoulder blades, always leaders. Now we have a little bit of tension here. I am preparing the move. If I swing a little bit to her left, my right, I can go into that slide. I can have some contact here for the leg, but it's not necessary because when you go the other side and you push, your follower will easily understand that you're going to do a slide. Of course, if she knows how to do a slide. If not, you can help yourself a little bit with the leg, have a contact. So we go here, we go swish, we release and do a basic wave. Let's do that swoosh, which is a slide. So we are here. I bend a little bit. I prepare slide and release do the basic wave. Let's do it one more time from top to bottom from this position. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ba bum. Basic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. The last combination, the eighth one, is going to consist in a basic turn for me, a caricia, and another caricia with a head roll for the follower. Let's go, basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, I raise the hand, I prepare, do that small circle and I turn under the arm. One, two, three, four. I go and do a caricia, five, six, seven, eight. I do the same with the other hand. One, two, I release, but I will change my hand on three, four to get ready for a head roll. And also this hand, I'm going to grab it a little bit. So we are on two, let's go three, four. This position will signal my follower, okay, something is going to happen a little bit different. And it's not that I am pushing the head roll in that direction and pulling this hand to rip her arm, no, but I hold it here in order for her to understand, okay, you're not going to do your basic step. And I go into the basic head roll. Five, six, seven, eight. Always leaders remember to do that weight shifting. So we go here at the end, boom, and I shift the weight, I shift the weight, I shift it, and I tap. Let's do it one more time from this position. Basic one, two, three, four, five, six. I prepare one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. These are some simple combinations that we teach in our beginners class, of course, after we go through the individual moves, the individual hammer lock, the individual turns, individual caricias, individual head roll, individual wave, hip roll, change of places, 180. Everything we did here 
has its own separate move, we just put them into some simple combination. One final tip, you can get all these eight combinations that we did, get the figure, get the basic move and rearrange them and create your own combination. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite and that being said, see you in the next video. Ciao!